Hey guys, I'm um, going to do something a little different today. I had a request from a young fella up in Maine uh, named Beaver Trapper. Just 17 years old, getting out teaching himself all about trapping, which is pretty cool. Reminds me of myself when I was young. But uh, he, uh, he likes the set number fours under the ice, so I'm going to do a set here. But it's just going to be a demonstration at my house because this set needs a firm bottom pond and apparently there isn't any of them in Manitoba so well at least not anywhere near I trap everything's mud 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 and uh, like I said this needs a fairly firm bottom pond and uh, I'll show him how I make this set so anyways this is your ice right here okay that's the ice level that's the bottom of the pond what we got is you just have three sticks, dry sticks in behind making a little wall, two pieces of bait, and you can either run bait right up to the top and out the hole, or you can take some bait like this and wire it on to the, the dry sticks. And don't forget to mark them up like so. And this set can be made in you know, two feet of water, foot and a half of water, or six feet of water, it doesn't matter. Now your trap goes right on the bottom of the pond. It sits right there. And I know some guys are gonna say, well, how do you get the trap down there? But I will show you right now. So what I'm doing is wiring the onto a, another dry stick. Now you remember, I am up in the on the top of this ice doing this. So you're wiring your anchor pole to the trap. Then you take you get a long however long your water is. And you see this one here is a piece of poplar. You take it like so. Now at some point I'm going to have to let go of the camera for a second. But you put your stick down through the two spring eyes. And like I said, I'm going to have to lift this up and I'll show you that down through there and just let go of the other end of the trap and you see this here the, the sideways pressure of the spring on that stick holds it right there like that and then you you set it down onto the bottom of the pond just wiggle it around a little bit and uh, comes off but I'm going to show you that right here right now so, yeah. okay so part of your cage. You lay it down. As soon as it touches the ground and levels off, it comes off the, the stick that you're lowering. And like I said, you can have this set in six feet of water, however deep your pond is. But like I said, it has to be a hard bottom pond. So now you've got the trap sitting right in front of the bait. This pole here, the anchor pole, obviously gets shoved down into the mud or into the, the bottom as hard as you can. And then you put a, a safety pole across the top. So this is for Beaver Trapper is his handle. He 
He's got some YouTube videos on there too. I think he's a, really got a niche to learn. So, and he loves using number fours under the ice. So there you go. That's the. This was my favorite set when I was a kid. It was uh, easy to do, and I had a lot of ponds with you know that two, three feet of water. I have set it in much deeper water. Anyways, that's what your set looks like from when you're looking down through the hole in the ice. Alrighty, the beavers come along and chew off. They try and pull it out of the mud here, try and chew it off. Like I said, if you have it wired on here, one on each of these three sticks, um, it works even better. And especially if you have one with a branch coming out like this, right over the trap. Works really good. Alright, 